The movie that most people were excited about for the weekend is Footloose. Now, you know, several years you know, ago, I don't, can't recall how many years it was, but Kevin Bacon was on screen uh, as Rem, Rem McCormick in Footloose. It had a tremendous soundtrack of, of good songs. Everybody liked the music. It was a you know, best-selling uh, album, I think, at that time. I don't think it was a you know, CD. It was an you know, album. Uh, that and the music, the you know, soundtrack from Top Gun kind of competed against each other. But he was the outsider who moved into a small town. Uh, the, the town had a ban on dancing, which in this new modern version, the same thing. Except this movie takes place in Georgia, in Beaumont, Georgia, and not a real town. I think the movie was filmed around Canton, maybe in Duluth. But uh, anyway, the Georgians are the ones uh, who have put a ban on dancing because there has been a car accident and five seniors at the local high school were killed in the car wreck and they were coming home from a dance where there was supposedly drinking and drugs, etc. So the movie starts out with that unfortunate incident <coughs> excuse me, and goes forward three years and that's when Wren McCormick, who is played by Kenny Warmall, comes in and, you know, you know, he's staying with his, his mother, his parents are dead, he's staying with his aunt and uncle, and his uncle is played by Ray McKinnon, who pretty much walks away with the movie as far as I'm concerned. He's got the best lines in the film and, and really has a dry wit about him. But, uh, Wren meets Ariel, who is the uh, local preacher's daughter, her parents, the preacher and his wife are played by Dennis Quaid and Andy McDowell. Uh, she's kind of rebellious, uh, you know, she likes to dance, and since she's played by Julianne Huth, I kept saying how last week, but it's Julianne Huth, uh, formerly of Dancing with the Stars, you know, she can dance. And so, of course, it's the same basic plot, you know, of, you know, Wren gets a petition to try to get the city council to overturn the ban on dancing. And, you know, it's got a few variations from the old movie thrown in, but not a lot. Uh, he still drives the little Volkswagen Beetle, which he did in the other. Uh, he does that solo dance in the, you know, factory warehouse. Uh, there's, there's still the, the guy who befriends him, uh, played by Miles Teller, and he doesn't dance, and so Wren has to teach him how to dance. And, that's done to the, the song, Let's Hear It for the Boy, which you know, we remember from that first movie. But as good as it is, it's not quite as good as the original Footloose was. You know, Warmall, Kenny Warmall just isn't Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon just had some, you know, some rebellious streak that came across. This guy looks like he's been cast in Greece and wandered to the Footloose set. Uh, but Julianne Huff as Ariel, I think, outdoes Laurie Singer, who was in the original movie. Dennis Quaid is probably the worst person in the film. Uh, John Lithgow played this part, and Diane Weist played his wife in the original, and you could see that he was torn between his love for his family and trying to protect them, and also to protect his congregation. It was, it was really an emotional tie in the film. But Dennis Quaid just doesn't capture that essence. But like I said, it has some variations. It's not you know word line for line uh, of the original movie until it gets to the very end when they have the big dance at the end. You know, uh, Warmall has on the purple uh, Kevin Bacon type dinner jacket, and it looks like uh, Julianne Huff's Ariel is wearing the exact same dress that Laurie Singer wore as Ariel in the original. But the dancing is good, the soundtrack is good, again, it's not, you know, it doesn't grip you like the original soundtrack did. did. Uh, the film is rated PG-13 you know, for profanity, some sexual situations, but I enjoyed it enough to give it a score of six. Again, above average. I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit better, but I have to say, you know, while I was watching it, I had a good time, and I think you'll get, you know, into the beat of the movie 
and have a good time too because uh, you know everything ends up all right. The, the, the leads in the movie are very attractive. The character actors, especially Ray McKinnon, add so much to it. So let's take a look at a clip from Footloose and maybe you'll start tapping your feet to the beat. Dream. 